Excessive patient circuit leak alarm. The excessive patient circuit leak alarm on the CCV will only activate when ventilating using pressure control modes. It is triggered if one of the following conditions are met. The first is when three consecutive breaths fail to reach 75% of the PIP setting, while the initial flow is greater than 60 litres per minute. The second is when the flow exceeds 10 litres per minute for more than 5 seconds when ventilating in CPAP mode. The excessive patient circuit leak differs from the low airway pressure alarm in that it is not impacted by the low airway pressure limit set by the provider. The low airway pressure alarm can be triggered in any mode on the CCV, while the excessive patient circuit leak can only be triggered in pressure modes, like pressure AC, pressure SIMV and CPAP. An excessive patient circuit leak alarm is most commonly caused by a disconnection anywhere between the ventilator and the patient. If there is a misalignment of the valve body and the valve cover, or if the valve body has not been screwed on tightly, it could cause a leak in the circuit and trigger a low airway pressure alarm, or an excessive patient circuit leak alarm. To avoid a leak in the patient circuit, always be sure to properly assemble the patient breathing circuit, paying extra attention to the alignment and secure placement of the clear valve cover onto the exhalation valve body and ensuring that the ports in the exhalation valve body and catheter mount are closed. Reference the patient breathing circuit assembly video for a detailed review on how to properly assemble the circuit to prevent leaks. To ensure patient safety, it is always necessary to investigate the cause of the alarm, beginning at the patient end and working way back to the machine, starting with the patient's airway, then moving to the breathing circuit, drugs, then finally examining the ventilator.